So we're here at Summer Wind today with our paranormal group, the Northern Wisconsin Paranormal Society, checking it out. We're going to investigate a little bit. I don't really expect anything, but this place and the lore behind everything is just really cool. So here's some background information. Um, I found this information in an article on the WXPR.org Wisconsin Public Radio website under an article called Vilas County's Haunted Summerwind Mansion, written by Gary Entz and Mackenzie Martin and posted online October 31st, 2018. The building known as Summerwind was first constructed in the early 20th century as a fishing lodge along the shore of West Bay Lake. In 1916, Robert Patterson Lamont, an executive with the American Steel Foundries Corporation and future Secretary of Congress under Herbert Hoover, purchased the building. The Lamont family renovated and enlarged the mansion to transform it into a family summer vacation home. The first tale of a haunting comes from the Lamonts, and according to legend, servants working for the Lamont family complained of hearing voices. Then one night, a ghostly apparition allegedly appeared in the kitchen area prompting Lamont to fire two shots into the basement door. Supposedly, the Lamont family fled the house after this, never to return. But none of this is corroborated in any of Lamont's own writings. The mansion stood unused through much of the 1930s and was sold to a family named Kiefer in 1941. The Kiefers used it as a vacation home, but were never full-time residents. Mrs. Kiefer, according to the stories, was afraid to enter the house and studiously tried to avoid it. Multiple attempts were made to sell the mansion and none succeeded until in the 1960s. No paranormal activities were reported in the 1960s, but the 1970s, the ghosts really got active. Arnold and Ginger Hinshaw, and later Ginger's father, lived in the mansion during this time and it is from them that most of the alleged strange tales emerge. The stories of disembodied voices, corpses found hidden in the walls, cold gusts of wind, and the legend of the 18th century English explorer Jonathan Carver and his otherworldly land claims over the North Woods all came from this source. None of it can be corroborated. By the 1980s, Summerwind Mansion was abandoned and in 1988 it was struck by lightning and burned to the ground. But even then, the controversy did not end as some allege that the mansion was deliberately set afire to stop vandals and kids from entering what was still private property. Lightning is the official and best explanation. After all, what ghost wouldn't want a little brimstone from the heavens to add another layer of mystery to an already famous Northwoods haunted house?
This trip was an educational trip for NWPS members to use equipment that they've never used before, so there was a lot of us there that day. We were planning on staying all night, but the rain moved in and we had to leave early. We did do some spirit box sessions, and these are the highlights from those spirit box sessions. Did say you're pretty? Uh-huh. You I heard you're pretty. You're pretty. Did say you're pretty? Uh-huh. You I heard you're pretty. You're pretty. I saw some things kind of curved on the pavement there. Boredom. Were there people here that are... Say boredom? I heard boredom. I heard boredom. Boredom. I saw some things kind of curved on the pavement there. Boredom. Were there people here that are... Say boredom? I heard boredom. I heard boredom. Boredom. Do you stay here because of the beauty of the lake? It sounded like there was something there, but I couldn't make out what it said. Do you stay here because of the beauty of the lake? It sounded like there was something there, but I couldn't make out what it said. How many spirits are here with us? I don't feel weird anymore. I must have moved over there. What? Yeah. What? I just said what? How many spirits are here with us? I don't feel weird anymore. I must have moved over there. What? Yeah. What? I just said what? Because I wonder that, like, that's one of the things I think about, like, if we're talking, like, and we can barely hear them, can they barely hear us? Like... So they're like getting freaked out because they can hear voices. <laughs> you know what I wonder? Because I wonder that, like, that's one of the things I think about. Like, if we're talking, like, and we can barely hear them, can they barely hear us? Like, so they're like getting freaked out because they can hear voices. <laughs> you know what I wonder? Is there something you miss? Fun. Fun. <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't have fun. Is there something you miss? Fun. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't have fun. It's starting to rain here at Summer Wind, so we're moving up. We might have to leave early if the rain won't stop. So we'll see what happens. So that's my little video on Summerwind. 
and it's probably an unpopular opinion but I don't really think summer wind is haunted uh, maybe when the house was standing uh, might have been more haunted I know I've talked to some older guys that have gone there when the house was still standing and they've had crazy experiences and stuff but now that it's just the rubble the two chimneys and I mean the stoop pretty much and the entry to the basement that's all there is there I didn't feel anything when we were there I didn't see anything we did EVP sessions I didn't capture anything all we caught was those couple voices on the spirit box and honestly if you think about it and you think about spirits in general and ghosts you can probably catch voices on a spirit box anywhere because spirits are all around us technically but another thing that I think about when it comes to summer wind is the idea of tulpa and tulpa is taken from a Tibetan word meaning manifestation of thought power so um, Tibetan monks would all meditate for a certain reason and they could manifest that reason with the power of all their minds combined so all the years of people telling haunted summer wind stories and it's getting passed down from generation to generation all those people that think about summer wind being a haunted place is that making it a haunted place I don't know it's just something to think about but thanks for watching like and subscribe and sorry the dogs are here but they wouldn't leave me alone today so I guess they get included uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more investigations coming up real quick here and we'll get them out before the end of October. Thanks for watching.